right, so last time I came here, I ended up walking around the whole place to try and find the entrance. It's so secure, this place. So it's this little door here to get in. Let's see. I have to put this away. Okay, guys, I'm going into my room at the Serena five-star hotel here in Kabul. So let's have a look. This is nice. They have huge rooms. Ah, what's my view? Let's see my view out here. Garden view, it said. Oh, beautiful. It's so peaceful in here. You can't even hear a thing from outside. I have a little work desk here. Where I can sit here and edit tonight in comfort. Although the last hotel, they made a desk for me, so that was nice. So what else do we have? International adapters, empty drawers, a couch. This is too much for me. Oh, the bed's so comfy. Comfy pillows, outlets here, notebook, mini bar. Now they said the mini bar I, is free of charge. But let's see what the mini bar is. Pepsi, Sprite, Coke, and water. Not your normal mini bar, but we are in Afghanistan. I have tea, coffee, a safe in here. All your stuff in here. Your wardrobe and the bathroom, which is, oh, has a shower in here. A shower with your accoutrements. Soap, shower cap, a robe. Oh, I'm so excited. A nice toilet. I am going to take a bath tonight. What is this? I got my glasses on, I can't see. But pretty much everything you could need. Cotton stuff, I can't read it. So, really nice. I can't wait to have a bath tonight. I'm gonna have a bath and relax. Oh, do they have a hair dryer? I never noticed. They even have scales. I can weigh myself and see how much weight I've lost on this trip. Unintentionally, of course. Empty drawers. <sighs> okay, so this is my room. I'm so excited. It's a little warm. I'm gonna turn the AC up a bit and then I'll see what I can explore. I just kind of asked him what I was allowed to video um, down in the reception area. Um, I said, what can I video? He says, not the hallways or anything. Not these hallways, the hallways downstairs because they're all glass and everything. Um, not the hallways. And then I said, so he's going to ask the security. So I'm not quite sure what I can video in here or not because it's so secure. It's, it, I don't know. It's really nice, really nice, but it's really lonely. I'm used to having lots of people in and out in the other place and everything. So let's see. They said that the hotel is busy right now. Um, I saw lots of uh, Taliban outside, but they don't come inside. I asked the woman that. Yeah, she said they're just for security outside. Three nine Pakistan. They had one in Quetta. Uh, one is Islamabad. I'm not sure where else they have them, but um, this is my first luxury hotel in um, Afghanistan. It's the most expensive hotel you can find in Kabul. So, yeah, I'll order some room service or go to the restaurant. I'll do everything. I'll do everything. But right now, I'm going to turn the AC off, on a bit more, and uh, just chill. Oh. I just ordered room service. Oh, I haven't done that in the longest time. I'm going down. I'm going to have this. What is it? I got a chef salad, and some bread, and some lure pack butter, and some orange juice. They have a little ABC supermarket downstairs, an international one. Uh, the, the one that I went to last year, where you can get all your international brands and everything. So I'm going to have this, then I'm going to go downstairs and sit in the garden, or I don't know. Um, see what I can video around here. So now I'm going to eat. All right. Let me try and find my way down here. I've got a t-shirt on. I don't know. Um, most hotels, you're allowed to walk around in whatever. So I'm just wearing normal clothes today. In the lift. 
Um, I still have to find out um, what I'm actually allowed to film and what I'm not. But right now I'm going down for coffee because they have a really nice coffee shop. So I want to see that. I've got my abaya in case they tell me I have to do wear it, but I don't know. Look at this. Lounging room here. We have a massive pool table. Little antique bit here. Business center. It goes all the way up like this, look. But they have some beautiful gardens. I don't know where they are. So this is really nice. I can imagine all the journalists and everything sitting there, hanging out. Yeah, nice. Oh, it's a gallery here, look. It's the same guy that paints the ones down um, near Chicken Street. Same, I, same guy. My favorite one. And this is the one I have. That one's really nice as well. I don't know what prices they are in here. I don't have my glasses on. I can't see. And here's a mini ABC. Hello. Hello. Hiya. Hello. A mini ABC. <laughs> so they have all the same stuff here as the big ABC. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, just just the same. Just the same. Yeah. Of course, you got your dairy milk chocolate. I have to come and get some of that. Thank you. <laughs> Going to the coffee shop, which is along here. So here's a coffee shop room. There's lots of these rooms, but it's all traditional stuff here. Very traditional looking. Um, it's quite big actually. And there's another room going through here, but I don't know what it is. Let's go see. Let's go investigate. Hey, could this be the library? In the 10th and 11th centuries, political and climatic challenges oh stretched the steps of Central Asia, What's stirring that? the movement of tribes of Turkey to keep. All right, here's a, a lounge room, library, perhaps. I'm not sure. But it still has the, all the traditional furnishings and these are old traditional stuff also. It's really nice. I'm just having to be careful not to get anyone in. There's not many people here really. And here's the cakes. Maybe I'll have a cake. Uh, um, I asked when I came down and um, he said I can't walk around the hotel with my t-shirt, my long trousers on. Uh, in the public areas, you have to cover up. In the Safi Landmark Hotel, I didn't have to do that. I, I just walked around in normal clothes, ex and, and to, unless I went out. But here, it's different. Look at this. You see these all in the shops down in Chicken Street? All these things. I don't know what they're for, if they're just wall hangings or what. And this one. So gorgeous. Here's my delight. I got some black forest cake and a cappuccino. And that's it. I'm gonna have this and then hopefully they, they, I wanna see the gardens. So they said that they would, they promised I could see the gardens. Last time I was here, they went outside and it was, um, they had like tents and stuff. For the guests used to sit outside in these big, sort of, I can't remember whether it, some countries, um, NGOs made this thing out there. I'm not sure, I don't remember when. Anyway. I'm going to have my coffee. Thank you. I am now in the gardens. What's your name? Wait, Safari. Wait, Safari. Wait is, is showing me around a little bit. He showed me how to get out to the garden. <laughs> uh, and I can only video this side. Thank you so okay. much. So I'm going to go walk around. I'm not allowed to video this other side. But look. Look how beautiful this is. It's like a little paradise. Rose gardens. Really nice. You can't even barely... There's a big hill up there. Sitting area there. You can't hear the hustle and bustle outside at all. But it's beautiful. Look at the grass. It's like a carpet. I have to walk on it. I'm walking around with my laptop and everything. Oh, this grass, look at this. Maybe I get a thumbnail out of this, who knows? It's absolutely stunning sitting out here. Um, maybe I'll meet some people at dinner. I don't know. 
Well, my stuff is over there. I don't know if you can get a good enough view here of everything. The rose gardens all the way down here and the fountains. I've just dumped my laptop over here on the grass because it's so gorgeous. All right, guys. So I don't know what else I can film here. They have a gym, but it's... Um, uh, what, was it? what did he say? The women are work Women have finished... I don't know. Something. The women can go to this gym, but... Uh, the I asked how many women employees they have. There's about 15 women employees here <clears throat> right now. I just saw a few. Uh, I, I couldn't film the, the gym, unfortunately. Uh, but I could go. I can go in the morning if I want. Uh, it's a really, really nice place anyway. There's uh, volleyball down there. And it's just so serene. The Serena Hotel. It's just really lovely. But I never, ever pay this much for a hotel. I just wanted to show you guys that there is uh, a five-star hotel in Kabul and this is it, the Serena. So I don't know what I'm going to do for dinner yet. I think I'm just going to have an editing night. I'll go back up to my room soon, but I like to stay down here in case I run into anybody. Apparently there's a guy here from Scotland called, I can't remember his name. So the guy told me to ask reception for him, but I don't know. So. This is my, I get my little tour of the outside garden here at the beautiful Serena Hotel. And inside it's just beautiful. Volleyball. I think it's the Qatar people. All right. Goodbye for now. Good morning from the Serena Hotel. So my room's a bit of a mess. I slept okay last night. It's a little bit hot in here. The air conditioning is central air. So you can't really control it. And I like it cold. So I'm going to go down now and check out the breakfast buffet. So. It finishes at 10, so it's 20 to 10 now. I was just going to order room service, but I want to check this out and see what it's like, if there's any food left. And then I have to go back to the Kyber Hotel. I hope I'm allowed to video there. I've not been allowed to video the whole place because there's been people there. Going down. Let me see. All right, I'm gonna turn this off because when I come out here, it's reception. All right, here's the breakfast buffet. Eggs. Paratha. Don't know. Waffles. Don't know. Oh, vegetables. <laughs> I'm, it says it up here. Yeah, believe it or not, these are beef sausages. Sauteed mushrooms, hash browns, baked beans, Heinz baked beans, and porridge. You got your cereals here. Lurpec, butter, cereal. Mmm. Good fresh fruits and stuff. And your juices. Watermelon and apple and loads of pastries. Look at that. Mmm. Toast, apples, and fruit. I don't know where the team stuff is. So yeah, this is the restaurant here. Jams, butters. Everything has got antiques everywhere in here. It's really nice. I think you can probably get eggs made as well, I'm not sure. What are these warm things? Cheese or oh, warm croissants. All right. We tuck into my breakfast. All right. Now it's back to my room. This is the hallway. Just goes on on this side. All right, guys. So I'm back down in the coffee shop. Oh, thank you so much. Um, Wi-Fi password. So th this coffee shop here, anybody can come here. You don't have to stay at the hotel to come to the coffee shop. Um, good good Wi-Fi, comfy seats to sit on. Uh, so yeah, nice uh, coffee and some biscuits. So I'm just going to sit here for a couple of hours and do some work and then go back to my other hotel. And that's going to be me. Oh no, I'm going to go do pomegranate stuff today. I still not had pomegranate. So yeah, so this was the Serena Hotel. I filmed as much as I was allowed, um, considering that it's such a secure place. The reception area and everything, but it's beautiful. Everything has old touches of um, antique Afghan stuff. 
really nice. So now I'm going to do some work and goodbye from Serena Hotel. I highly recommend it. Um, really, really, it's just like being, you know, you could shut your eyes and you wouldn't know where you were actually. There is a swimming pool, but women are not allowed to use it. Um, there is a gym, um, but if you've got the money, then come here. <laughs> but I don't have the money. So it, it, this was just a very expensive splurge for me. Okay, bye. Okay guys, here's the reception area. Look, there's nobody here, so I can take a quick video. Beautiful doors. The ceilings. All right, my time here is up.